School Zone Sign A school zone sign is five-sided and has a fluorescent yellow-slash-green background with black symbols. It warns that you are coming to a school zone. Slow down, drive with extra caution and watch for children. Pavement is slippery when wet. Slow down and drive with caution. No U-turn. Do not turn to go in the opposite direction. U-turn. No parking between signs. Do not park in the area between the signs. This means you may not stop your vehicle except to load or unload passengers or merchandise. Used in pairs or groups. A stop sign. A stop sign is eight-sided and has a red background with white letters. It means you must come to a complete stop. Yield sign. A yield sign is a triangle with a white background and a red border. It means you must let traffic in the intersection or close to it go first. Stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear. Winding road ahead. A railway crossing sign. A railway crossing sign is X-shaped with a white background and red outline. It warns that railway tracks cross the road. Watch for this sign. Slow down and look both ways for trains. Be prepared to stop. An official bicycle route. Watch for cyclists and be prepared to share the road with them. You may park in the area between the signs during the times posted. Snowmobiles may use this road. Do not enter this road. Do not stop in the area between the signs. This means you may not stop your vehicle in this area, even for a moment. Used in pairs or groups. Do not stand in the area between the signs. This means you may not stop your vehicle in this area except while loading or unloading passengers. Used in pairs or groups. Do not turn left at the intersection. Do not drive through the intersection. Do not turn right when facing a red light at the intersection. Do not turn left during the times shown. This parking space is only for vehicles displaying a valid accessible parking permit. No bicycles allowed on this road. No pedestrians allowed on this road. Keep to the right of the traffic island. Speed limit changes ahead. Do not pass on this road. Slow traffic on multi-lane roads must keep right. Community safety zone. Indicates areas where the community has identified that there is a special risk to pedestrians. Traffic-related offenses committed within the zone are subject to increased fines. The speed limit in this zone is lower during school hours. Observe the speed limit shown when the yellow lights are flashing. Stop for school bus when signals are flashing. Stop for school bus when signals are flashing. This sign is installed on multi-lane highways with no center median divider. It informs drivers approaching from both directions that they must stop for a school bus when its signal lights are flashing. Tell drivers the direction they must travel. These signs, above the road or on the pavement before an intersection, tell drivers the direction they must travel. For example, the driver in lane 1 must turn left, the driver in lane 2 must turn left or go straight ahead, and the driver in lane 3 must turn right. Traffic may travel in one direction only. This is a pedestrian crossover. Be prepared to stop and yield right of way to pedestrians. Lane is only for two way left turns. This sign, above the road or on the ground, means the lane is only for two-way left turns. Accessible person parking permit picking up and dropping off passengers with disabilities. 
This sign reserves curb area for vehicles displaying a valid accessible person parking permit picking up and dropping off passengers with disabilities. Lanes are only for specific types of vehicles. These signs mean lanes are only for specific types of vehicles, either all the time or during certain hours. Different symbols are used for the different types of vehicles. They include buses, taxis, vehicles with three or more people and bicycles. Keep to the right lane. Keep to the right lane except when passing on two-lane sections where climbing or passing lanes are provided. Yield to the bus. This sign on the back of transit buses serves as a reminder to motorists of the law requiring vehicles approaching a bus stopped at a dedicated bus stop to yield to the bus, once the bus has signaled its intent to return to the lane. Road forks to the right. Road forks to the right. Marks a zone within which school buses load or unload passengers without using the red alternating lights and stop arm. School bus loading zone. An important area designated by law for a school bus to load and unload student passengers on a roadway or within a school driveway. High occupancy vehicle, HAV, signs. Only public vehicles such as buses, or passenger vehicles carrying a specified minimum number of passengers, may use this lane. Do not cross. Vehicles cannot change lanes into or out of a high occupancy vehicle lane in this area. Narrow bridge ahead. Road branching off ahead. Intersection ahead. The arrow shows which direction of traffic has the right of way. Roundabout ahead. Roundabout ahead. Reduce speed. The counterclockwise arrows show the direction of vehicle traffic within the roundabout. Drivers on the side road at the intersection ahead don't have a clear view of traffic. Pavement narrows ahead. Slight bend or curve in the road ahead. Slight bend or curve in the road ahead. Posted under a curve warning, this sign shows the maximum safe speed for the curve. Sharp bend or turn in the road ahead. Chevron, arrowhead, signs are posted in groups to guide drivers around sharp curves in the road. Maximum safe speed for the curve. Posted under a curve warning, this sign shows the maximum safe speed for the curve. Sharp bend or turn in the road ahead. Chevron, arrowhead, signs. Chevron, arrowhead, Signs are posted in groups to guide drivers around sharp curves in the road. Winding road ahead. Winding road signs are used in situations where there are three or more curves in the road where each curve is separated by a tangent distance of less than 600 feet. Moving bridge. The bridge ahead lifts or swings to let boats pass. Paved surface ends ahead. The pavement end sign is used to warn motorists that an asphalt or concrete roadway is about to end and that its continuation has a gravel surface. Bicycle crossing ahead. A standard bicycle crossing ahead sign consists of a black silhouette of a bicycle on a yellow background. Stop sign ahead. Slow down. Share the road with oncoming traffic. When passing from behind or the opposite direction, Slow down and create as much distance as possible, and remember, oncoming traffic has the right of way. Share the road sign. The share the road sign is used to warn motorists that they are to provide safe space on the road for cyclists and other vehicles. This sign also warns motorists and cyclists to exercise additional caution on the upcoming section of road. Pavement is slippery when wet. Slow down and drive with caution. Hazard close to the edge of the road. The downward lines show the side on which you may safely pass. Divided highway begins. Divided highway begins, traffic travels in both directions on separated roads ahead. Keep to the right-hand road. Each road carries one-way traffic. Right lane ends ahead. If you are in the right-hand lane, 
you must merge safely with traffic in the lane to the left. Traffic lights ahead. Slow down. Steep hill ahead. You may need to use a lower gear. Shift into a lower gear when going down long, steep hills. This will help control your speed and you won't have to brake as sharply. Downshift before starting downhill since it may not be possible once you are going downhill. Two roads going in the same direction are about to join into one. Drivers on both roads are equally responsible for seeing that traffic merges smoothly and safely. Snowmobiles cross this road. Divided highway ends. Drivers on both roads are equally responsible for seeing that traffic merges smoothly and safely. Underpass ahead. Take care if you are driving a tall vehicle. Sign shows how much room you have. Bump or uneven pavement on the road ahead. Slow down and keep control of your vehicle. Railway crossing ahead. Be alert for trains. This sign also shows the angle at which the railway tracks cross the road. Sharp turn or bend in the road in the direction of the arrow. The checkerboard border warns of danger. Slow down, be careful. Deer regularly cross this road. Be alert for animals. Truck entrance on the right side of the road ahead. If the sign shows the truck on the left, the entrance is on the left side of the road. Shows maximum safe speed on ramp. Watch for pedestrians and be prepared to share the road with them. Watch for fallen rock and be prepared to avoid a collision. There may be water flowing over the road. Hidden school bus stop ahead. This sign warns you that you are coming to a hidden school bus stop. Slow down, drive with extra caution, watch for children and for a school bus with flashing red lights. An upcoming bus entrance on the right. Indicates an upcoming bus entrance on the right and vehicles should be prepared to yield to buses entering the roadway. An upcoming fire truck entrance on the right. Indicates an upcoming fire truck entrance on the right and vehicles should be prepared to yield to fire trucks entering the roadway. School crossing. These signs warn of a school crossing. Watch for children and follow the directions of the crossing guard or school safety patroller. Temporary condition signs. These signs warn of unusual temporary conditions such as road work zones, diversions, detours, lane closures or traffic control people on the road. They are usually diamond-shaped with an orange background and black letters or symbols. Construction work one kilometer ahead. Road work ahead. Survey crew working on the road ahead. Traffic control person ahead. Drive slowly and watch for instructions. You are entering a construction zone. Drive with extra caution and be prepared for a lower speed limit. Temporary detour from normal traffic route. Flashing lights on the arrows show the direction to follow. Pavement has been milled or grooved. Your vehicle's stopping ability may be affected so obey the speed limit and drive with extra caution. Motorcyclists may experience reduced traction on these surfaces. Lane ahead is closed for road work. Obey the speed limit and merge with traffic in the open lane. Closed lane. Adjust speed to merge with traffic in lane indicated by arrow. Do not pass the pilot vehicle or pace vehicle bearing this sign. Reduce speed and be prepared to stop. Follow detour marker until you return to regular route. Fines for speeding in a designated construction zone. Enforces doubling the HTA fines for speeding in a designated construction zone when there are workers present. Information and direction signs. These signs tell you about distances and destinations. They are usually rectangular with a green background and white letters. 
Other signs with different colors guide you to facilities, services, and attractions. Shows directions to nearby towns and cities. Shows the distances in kilometers to towns and cities on the road. Various exit signs are used on freeways. In urban areas, many exit ramps have more than one lane. Overhead and ground-mounted signs help drivers choose the correct lane to exit or stay on the freeway. Advanced signs use arrows to show which lanes lead off the freeway. Signs are also posted at the exit. One or more lanes may lead off the freeway. Sometimes one or more lanes may lead off the freeway. The arrows matching the exit lanes are shown on the advanced sign in a yellow box with the word exit under them. Freeway interchanges or exits with numbers. Freeway interchanges or exits have numbers that correspond to the distance from the beginning of the freeway. For example, interchange number 204 on Highway 401 is 204 kilometers from Windsor, where the freeway begins. Distances can be calculated by subtracting one interchange number from another. The term via is used to describe the roads that must be followed to reach a destination. Shows the upcoming roundabout exits and where they will take you. Give drivers current information on delays and lane closures ahead. These signs change according to traffic conditions to give drivers current information on delays and lane closures ahead. Shows off-road facilities. Shows off-road facilities such as hospitals, airports, universities, or carpool lots. Shows route to passenger railway station. Shows route to airport. Shows facilities that are accessible by wheelchair. D sign, oversize load. Slow moving vehicle. The slow moving vehicle sign is an orange triangle with a red border. It alerts other drivers that the vehicle ahead will be traveling at 40 km per hour or less. EDR signs. Emergency detour route signage. EDR signs are used during the unscheduled closure of a provincial highway when OPP detour all traffic off the highway. The EDR markers are located along alternative routes and provide direction to motorists around the closure and back onto the highway. Long Commercial Vehicle, LCV This placard indicates a long commercial vehicle, which is a double trailer and can be up to 40 meters in length. It is important to be able to recognize an LCV on the highway, based on rear signage, and anticipate both the extended length and limited speed when preparing to pass one on the highway. Emergency Response Signs Some information signs include a numbering system along the bottom of the sign to assist emergency vehicles and drivers in determining an appropriate route. Bilingual Signs Watch for these signs when driving in designated bilingual areas. Read the messages in the language you understand best. Bilingual messages may be together on the same sign or separate, with an English sign immediately followed by a French sign. Traffic lights. Traffic lights tell drivers and pedestrians what they must do at intersections and along roads. They tell road users when to stop and go, when and how to turn and when to drive with extra caution. Green light. A green light means you may turn left, go straight or turn right after yielding to vehicles and pedestrians already in the intersection. When turning left or right you must yield the right of way to pedestrians crossing the intersection. Yellow light. A yellow, or amber, light means the red light is about to appear. You must stop if you can do so safely, otherwise, go with caution. Red light. A red light means you must stop. Bring your vehicle to a complete stop at the stop line if it is marked on the pavement. If there is no stop line, stop at the crosswalk, marked or not. If there is no crosswalk, stop at the edge of the sidewalk. Advance green light or arrow. 
When you face a flashing green light or a left pointing green arrow and a green light, you may turn left, go straight ahead or turn right from the proper lane. This is called an advanced green light because oncoming traffic still faces a red light. Pedestrians must not cross on a flashing green light unless a pedestrian signal tells them to. Simultaneous left turn. When a left turn green arrow is shown with a red light, you may turn left from the left turn lane. Vehicles turning left from the opposite direction may also be making left turns because they too face a left turn green arrow. After the left turn green arrow, a yellow arrow may appear. This means the green light is about to appear for traffic in one or both directions. Do not start your left turn. Stop if you can do so safely, otherwise, complete your turn with caution. You can still turn left when the light is green, but only when the way is clear of traffic and pedestrians. If the light turns red when you are in the intersection, complete your turn when it is safe. Transit Priority Signals Traffic and pedestrians must yield to public transit vehicles at a transit priority signal. The round signal is on top of a regular traffic signal and shows a white vertical bar on a dark background. This allows transit vehicles to go through, turn right or left, while all conflicting traffic faces a red light. Fully protected left turn. When a left turn green arrow appears for traffic in the left turn lane, traffic going straight ahead or turning right will usually see a red light. You may turn left from the left turn lane when you face a green arrow. Vehicles from the opposite direction may also be turning left. After the left turn green arrow, a yellow light appears for left turning vehicles only. After the yellow light, a red light appears for left turning vehicles only. Traffic going straight ahead or turning right will face a green light or green arrows pointing straight ahead and to the right. In these intersections, you may not begin turning left after the green light appears for traffic going straight ahead or turning right. If the light turns yellow while you are in the intersection, complete your turn with caution. Flashing red light. You must come to a complete stop at a flashing red light. Move through the intersection only when it is safe. A flashing yellow light means you should drive with caution when approaching and moving through the intersection. Blank traffic lights. During an electrical power loss, traffic lights at intersections will not work. Yield the right of way to vehicles in the intersection and to vehicles entering the intersection from your right. Go cautiously and use the intersection the same way you would use an intersection with all way stop signs. Flashing red beacon. A flashing red beacon above an intersection or stop sign means you must come to a complete stop. Move through the intersection only when it is safe to do so. Flashing yellow beacon. A flashing yellow beacon above an intersection, above a warning sign or on an obstruction in the road, warns you to drive with caution. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share our channel.